What's good, everybody? How are you guys doing? Are you guys are well? Yeah. We are live. <coughs> it's my first live video, guys. Um, so I'm currently at the Brackenfall branch in Cape Town. Um, and I'm just gonna wait for about 5 to 10 minutes so that everyone can join. Um, we have one person on the live so far. Um, let me just check something quickly. Okay. Okay. So if you guys have any requests, you guys can just drop any comments in the chat box below. So if, we have 10 people on the live guys, 10 people. It's my first live video. Um, yeah, we are live for the first time. 15 people on the live guys. So like I said, I'm gonna wait for about 10 to 15 minutes, for about five to 10 minutes. Um, then I'm gonna do a walk around um, through the whole dealer, and you guys can ask me anything. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for everyone to join. We are live, guys. 15 people on the live. Guys, and remember a video. Oh, please create a video of the Toyota Oris. Um, I haven't seen a Toyota Aura so far. I think I saw one, but that's like a 2020 model. Um, so yeah, guys, we're alive. Julian! Yes! <laughs> so guys, like I said, I'm at the Brackenville branch in Cape Town. Um, and it's pretty hot in, in Cape Town, guys. Yeah. Uh, let me know in the chat box from where you guys are. Uh, okay, it's pretty good in Cape Town, guys. Yo. And now I'm wearing a black t-shirt also. Um, guys, remember, I'm not a salesman. I'm just basically doing videos for you guys. So, so we have people from the Eastern Cape. Away, away. BW Tiguan. Um, I've seen quite a few. So, um, if you guys see anything that you like in this video, like any car, just let me know. Just let me know in the chat box, um, and I can basically do a walk around and a full review. Um, yeah, today you guys are gonna hear my broken English live, guys. So. Just remember, I'm Afrikaans, guys. So I have to, we have 12 people on the live so far. East London. Um, Ford Mustang. I haven't seen a Mustang yet. Um, so, yeah. They have an Audi R8 standing outside, guys, but I mean, that's a car that a lot of us want, but can't afford, and I'm falling into that bracket as well, guys. Yeah, I will be doing another video um, about student cars, so stay tuned for that. We have 13 people on the live, guys. Possible hidden fees that are required when purchasing a vehicle at Weber Cars. So basically, when you purchase a vehicle, right, the admin fees that they add um, to your to the additional cost, admin fees and these like registration fees. So there's a few fees that that um, they, that they add onto the, the cost price. Love the videos, Wesley. Appreciate you, bro. Twelve people on the live, guys. And this dealer is quite big, yo, guys. Um, so yeah. Uh, Suzuki Swift Sport. I haven't seen one. I haven't seen one yet, bro. Wow. 
well, 12 people on the live, guys. 12 people. So like I said, guys, we're gonna wait for about five minutes. Uh, Tita. I think I saw a Tita. Like, I think this was like a 2050 model. Oh yeah, sorry guys. Um, my gimbal just died, so I want to clear. Okay. Okay guys, my gimbal just died. Um, so, oh shit guys, just hang on quickly. So guys, um, the minimum salary is 7,500, so they basically look at your, your credit score and all that stuff. Um, okay guys, I have some problems with my gimbal. Um, so like I said guys, the minimum salary is 7,500. And if you earn 12,000 grand, um, I don't think you will qualify for a TIG1 online. That's, yeah, I don't think so, bro. Uh, 11 people on the live, guys. Pumalanga. Appreciate you, bro. Um, Toyota Runix. Uh, I haven't seen a Toyota Runix so far. At this particular bronze, not yet, bro. Yo, guys, it's free hot. So we have people from Eastern Cape, from Pumalanga. Bloemfontein, I see you, bro. Tipo, I see you, bro. Guys, do they have a Corsa light? Um, Corsa light? Nah, they don't have a Corsa light today. We have 15 people on the live, guys. And the dealer closed at two. Greetings from Paul, Sydney. Appreciate you, bro. All the way from Paul, guys. I am from Paul as well, so. E36? Nah, I think you might be an E36. I'm not sure. Okay, we from the single cab back here. So, MP300. Appreciate it, bro. We have 14 people on the live, guys. 14 people. So, I'm gonna wait for about two more minutes. Then, yeah, I'm gonna start to move and see what cars they have today. Guys, this is my first life. I can't even believe it. Uh, guys, like I said, I am not a salesman, right? Do they have RS3s there? No, they don't have RS3. Yeah. Funny enough, no, they don't have a lot of performance vehicles here at this point. Guys, you can ask me anything in the chat box below. I can see all the messages. So, yeah. Guys, and also one important thing that I do want to mention, I want to give my gratitude to all you guys for supporting the channel because we are at 20,000 flippin' subscribers, guys. Yo, 20,000 subscribers in South Africa is it's, it's something big, guys. That's a milestone, honestly, and it wouldn't be possible without you guys. Um, supporting the channel so I do appreciate each and every one of you guys supporting the channel and I try to remember the names of the people in the comment section of each and every video so um, yeah guys I think we can start to move guys um, so this bronze is quite big 
and for the most part you guys are not gonna see me in this video because I am gonna show the cars um, instead of showing myself guys so let's start okay so guys just let me know in the chat box if you guys can see the cars properly Yo, I need some water guys my mouth is dry do a review of new cars okay so what I'm gonna do guys um, I'm gonna walk so you guys can see basically they have a lot of cars on this side as well as on the other side so what I'm gonna do is they have a lot of all the expensive cars right here so let's start off by yeah they have a Bantam of a green Ford Bantam but I think that is like a 1997 model um, so yeah guys basically they, they popped all the expensive vehicles at the door uh, so guys I do like this Tiguan R-Line cost price uh, that's the kilometers um, guys one important thing that I do want to mention um, so for example this is a category A vehicle so that means that this car can be purchased via bank finance um, and there are nothing that you have to replace on this vehicle to make it roadworthy, right? So as you guys can see, it has a platinum decor sticker. So basically the platinum decor sticker means that this car is basically a get in and go and it has passed a roadworthy test. So that is the Tiguan R-Line. They have a nice X1 as well. And the X2. Oops. You see those performance cars are sublime. Okay, um, I think they have a few performance cars on the other side. I will be showing you guys that um, in a bit. So what I'm gonna do is guys, so as you guys can see, all the buckies, they have all the buckies lined up here as well as on this side. So I'm gonna show you guys the buckets first before we go to the interesting stuff like the GTIs um, and yeah. Okay, so they have a Hilux here as well. I think this is a 2022 model. So guys, so you will notice that here's a GD. Um, as you guys can see right here GD basically stands for I, I, I can't remember what it stands for but that's basically for the um, new range of diesel engines for the Toyota brand so it's all the new engines that is in the um, the new Toyota buckies the Hiluxes I can't remember what the GD the GD stands for uh They have a Ranger here as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, Global Diesel. Yeah, I forgot. Yo, sorry guys, I forgot. Global Diesel. Thanks for reminding me. Guys, will you rather take a Ford Ranger over Toyota Hilux or will you rather take a Hilux over a Ford Ranger? Let me know in the chat box below they have a ranger here um guys i don't know how the quality of this video comes out i love you we'll keep them thanks bro thanks Vinny. see your comment okay so all these buckets are so to say identical they have a amarok here as well I don't think this is the V6. Yeah, this is not the V6. Okay, let's just move on. Guys, by the way, all the vehicles that are on auction 
is on the upper floor so I will be going to that floor as well Toyota Hilux they have this GWM P series as well that's the cost price um, the kilometers 55,000 Ks on the clock They have another Ranger, they have a Fort Everest. Um, I'm actually just showing you guys this side. So it's basically they have identical buckies on the other side as well. Um, they have a Nissan hard body as well. Let's check what the cost price is. Cost price, the kilometers, category A, so you can uh, purchase this bucky via bank finance. And guys, if a vehicle has a green decor sticker, like this one, that basically means that this bucky either need minor or major repairs to be able to be um, roadworthy. Oh, they have a nice Amarok V6 as well. Uh, and by the way guys full disclaimer um, the cost price is based on a 10% deposit so without the deposit the cost price will be a bit more okay um, yeah they have another Ranger as well and an old school Toyota Hilux Sorry. Um, okay, this is the Hilux. I don't know if you guys can see the cost price. So 149,000 Rand, 270,000 Ks on the clock. Um, about the vintage cars, I will do a video if they have enough vintage cars because um, it's pointless for me to do a video on vintage cars if they only have like one or two. They have the new Nasa Navara here as well. And guys, on this side, they have a Jeep right here, a Land Rover, another Land Rover. And just look at the suspension, guys. Damn, don't know what happened here. Because this thing is definitely not lowered. I think these cars has a suspension, if I'm not mistaken. VR6, um, they don't have a VR6, unfortunately. Okay. Um, okay, they have a Nissan Champ right here. Old school. A real drive bucky, guys. So, let's just take the cost price on this vehicle. Okay, 30,000 Rand, 188,000 case on the clock. Category B, you can't purchase this uh, Bucky via bank finance. So, um, let's just move to this side as well. So, I do like this Mercedes, guys. I think this is a M class, if I'm not mistaken. Guys, let me know if this is a wrap on this vehicle. It looks doesn't look to me like it's the original paint. Yeah, yeah, ML63 AMG. Okay, here yeah, they have another few buckies right here. And a Suzuki Jimny. Guys, these cars are flipping quite off-road that's a cost price a kilometers category a green decor sticker uh, so they have a mini as well so guys um, to be honest these cars are not that interesting to me at least 
Okay, let's go to this side. Um, I just want to see something on this BMW, guys. So, this car is currently going for 105,000 Rand, right? But if you do the calculations, the maintenance on this thing is gonna be flipping expensive. Oh, away, away. <laughs> <laughs> we live yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ethan so they have a Fortuner right here Everest and guys they have an old school VW Combi uh, what's the cost price 48,000 Rand 203,000 k's in the clock. Yo. Guys, I might have to open the cars. Damn, this thing looks... Stock standard. Uh, I think this combi is locked. Let me just check quickly. Oh. Okay, it's open um, obviously guys on something like this everything is going to be manual uh, the combi doesn't have power steering air conditioning it has a four speed manual gearbox and yeah, I don't know what what is wrong with this car guys oh, yeah. <laughs> because it has a green decorative sticker so yeah let's move on to the interesting stuff because they have a VW TCR um, just on that side guys yo they have a nice Toyota Hilux here as well Dakar a decent and it's currently reserved Damn guys, this bucket looks quiet. Yeah, I'm from Paul, bro. As you can see, the bucket is currently reserved. Um, speaking about the reserve, um, so if you want to reserve a vehicle, say the cost price is up to 200,000 Rand, um, then you have to pay a holding deposit of 5,000 Rand. And anything above 200,000 Rand, you have to pay a holding deposit of 10 thousand rand guys okay they have a few ads pixels here as well um so they have a fiesta a citroen a renault clio and a nice tsi so this thing doesn't have a cost price at the moment so you guys can see right there it has a nice sunroof as well and I do like the color, guys. It looks flipper nice. Uh, so, guys, usually when I shoot my videos, I do it in, um, what you call it, a, a, a wide angle. So, it's a bit difficult to show you guys the whole damn car. IV tech, guys. Yo, in the next one, you know. Okay, they have the new VW um, TSI. Another VW. All the polos. Um, before we move on to that side, guys, they have another few SUVs as well. So, this is um, one of the bonus cars that was in my previous video. This. Polo GTI um, and this is a 2011 model and this is the cost price as you guys can see right there um, the kilometers and from the decor report guys this vehicle has a lot of engine smoke so I think the turbo is off, or something is wrong with this vehicle because this car is turbocharged and supercharged and according to my knowledge guys 
the reliability on these cars are not that good. Um, the holding deposit is refundable, yeah. Okay. Um, they have a Golf 7. Um, the, can we see the interior of the Cherry? Um, I will, yeah, if, if the car is not locked. So here they have a flippin' VW Golf 7.5 TCR, guys. Um, this car looks freak nice. So only 300 units were produced. Um, and obviously this car makes more power than a regular 7.5. That's a cost price, kilometers. And guys, when these cars came out, right, the cost price was about 670,000 Rand. And um, yeah, this car produces about 213 kilowatts, if I'm correct. And um, the regular Golf 7.5 only produces 162 kilowatts. So obviously, this car is way more powerful than a regular 7.5. And also, this car has Pirelli P0 tires, guys. And for such an expensive vehicle, just look at the, the tint, guys. Flippin' cheap tint. And you have a little helicopter here as well on the gas tank. Okay, so that's the TCR. And just next to the TCR, they have a Polo GTI. And it doesn't have a cost price at the moment. Uh, as you guys can see right there no cost price and obviously we're gonna have a panoramic sunroof i have to say that word slowly guys because my 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 afrikaans english is but struggling sometimes okay um that's the polo gti uh so like i said guys all the expensive cars are parked in front of the dealer and then all the cheaper cars are at the back. So I will show you guys the cheaper vehicles. So Jaguar F-Pace SVR powered by a 5 liter V8 engine guys. Okay so that is the SUVs. A car that we want but can't afford guys and um here's a green decker sticker on this range rover as you guys can see right here so something minor or major has to be replaced on this range rover in order to be roadworthy and guys this car is going for nine hundred and thirty eight thousand rand and the, the, the installment of this vehicle is 17,000 Rand per month. That's basically someone's salary, guys. Your 17,000 Rand per month. That's a flippin' bond. Okay, so this is where we started. So now I'm gonna go to the other side, guys. some water leaks here guys they also have a few bikes as well but my knowledge on bikes is not good guys so I I have no knowledge on bikes so here they have a Hyundai i20 <coughs> and the cost price is one rand Oh, the starting bid price is one rand. Can't be. Category B vehicle. So this car is still on auction. Yo, almost thought the cost price is one rand, guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys all the cars on this side. And then we're going to work our way down. Um, so, yeah. They have a Maserati as well. I think this car is powered by a inline 
V8 engine, if I'm correct. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's an inline um, V8 engine. So that's the Maserati. They have a Audi A3 sedan. A BMW 2 Series. But guys, just look at the condition of this vehicle. Um, so it looks to me like this BM was in an accident. Because you guys can see the, the front bumper is damaged quite badly. Uh, as you guys can see right here as well, carbon fiber. I don't know, I don't think this is real carbon fiber. Okay, so. So that's the two series. And then they have a Polo, I think this is a 2006 or 8 model, 1.9 liter TDI guys, this flipping thing is, is um, usually people take these cars out on Kilani and the diesel Polos are flipping quick guys to be honest. Um, they have a mini right here, a polo. Then they have a BMW 3 Series. So this is a car from 2007. Uh, so let's check the cost price. 38,000 Rand. That's a kilometers, category B. Okay, and just next to that they have a presidential Mercedes-Benz E-Class Guys, like I said, um, I usually shoot my videos in wide angle so it's difficult to show the whole vehicle um, Green decor sticker So this is the Mercedes And guys, this is a car that I was interested in um, This Kia Cerato Coupe I was thinking of buying me this vehicle, but yeah, I changed my mind. This car looks nice. It's a 1.6 liter turbocharged. Um, it has an automatic gearbox. Yeah, this is the Kia. I think the car is locked. Oh, the car is open. So this is the Serato Coupe, guys. It looks nice. So you have a you can you can change the 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 the, the um what you call it the gears behind the steering wheel as well but i'm not a big uh, automatic fan unless it has a dsd gearbox so okay they have a several lit yes yes lumina ss as well powered by a flipping v8 engine that's the cost price as you guys can see right there kilometers 190,000 k's um i don't know how reliable these cars are so i'm just gonna move on they have a nice 3 series as well Audi A3 uh, I will be showing you guys the cheap cars in a bit Okay They have an old school Mercedes Benz E-Class as well Yeah E-Class, I think this is an E-Class With a nice sunroof Oh, AMG this is definitely not an AMG, guys. Okay. Um, they do have a Nissan Sentra as well. Not an STI, unfortunately. But it is a GSI, if I'm, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. So here's the Nissan, guys. The first cheap car. 
So yeah, this is the cost price as you guys can see, 28,000 Rand. I'm 177,000 case of the clock, category B. Don't know what happened there, guys. So this car is pretty much stock standard. Um, and it is an automatic, so it's not a manual, guys. Can't open the car. So this is the Nissan Sentra. And I someone was asking me to show the Ford Bantam. They have a Ford Bantam. It's a 1997 model. Are we good? As a uh, they have MK1 as well, guys, and it's a 1995 model. So that's the cost price, the kilometers. So, here's the Ford Bantam. So, it, uh, yeah, guys, it looks as green as the Dekra sticker. Uh, so this is the cost price 24,000 Rand that's the kilometers and according to the Decra report guys this vehicle has a lot of issues uh, for example the sunroof on this bucket doesn't work the sunroof doesn't work and on each wheel there is a missing nut and I can see that the whole bucket was replaced uh, CX-3, I think, I will, show, I will show you guys the CX-3 as well. Um, the canopy has a missing window. Let me just go to that side. I think I saw the CX-3 on this side. Uh, and guys, this is where they do all the decorative tests. Um, so they have a lot of lifts right here. And on that side, they have the the whole thingy where they take pictures of the cars uh, they have a c class right here check the cost price on this car 49,000 rand uh, the gray one I don't know. I can't remember where the CX3 is. <laughs> okay. Guys, just remind me where the cars are because I can't remember. There's so many cars on the floor. The Ford EcoSport. Okay, so the Ford EcoSport is on that side. I hope the car is not locked because sometimes they flip and lock the cars and I can't um, show you guys the interior. The blue one, is it, are you talking about the blue Ford EcoSport? Oh, that one there, okay. Okay. So here's the cost price, 254,000 Rand. The um, monthly installment is just under 5,000 Rand, 36,000 case on the clock, category A. So you can purchase this Ford EcoSport via bank finance. Uh, and it has a platinum decor sticker, so this is a get in and go. Okay. Uh, guys, guys, just excuse the background noises. Um, okay. So here they have a C-Class, another Ford EcoSport, and here they have a Renault Clio RS. The grey Audi you passed, you just passed. The grey Audi. The grey Audi. On which side? Am I walking the wrong side? Uh, 
Let's go to that side. On your left. <laughs> On your left. Okay, is it, is it what side? This is the side. Yo, how the hell can, can't I? Nope, lift, 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 lift. Shit. Okay, just explain to me is if I'm standing here, right? Left or right? Is it this side? The gray 63 is on, is in the row you are looking at. Okay, so it's here somewhere, no? Lift. Behind you, behind you. Is it is it here? Somewhere. You guys I need water, my mouth is dry. That's so so behind you is the Audi. Okay, so here's the black Mercedes, right? Um behind you is the Audi. Um, I will come back to you um, with the CX-3. Um, so here they have a the new Toyota Corolla. Um, it's the ad spec. So as guys can see, and this car is a hybrid. Guys, um, okay, um, brother, I will come back to you with the Mazda CX-3. And as you guys can see, they have a lot of other cars at the back as well. Um, And just the way they park these cars, guys, are insane. Like, for example, you see how near the Mercedes is to the Volvo. Yeah. And they have the ultimate Toyota Corolla. It's a 2005 model. So that's the cost price, as you guys can see. 272,000 Ks on the clock. So that's the Toyota Corolla. Um, okay. Yo, guys, we are 43 minutes into the live. So, they have a one series right here. And a Peugeot 208 GTI. Guys, this was one car that I was interested in at some point. But just look at the condition of this vehicle, guys. I mean, the bumper is damaged. The front bumper is damaged right there. Uh, the mirror is damaged. And yeah, that's the cost price. 81,000 Rand, 104,000 case on the clock. And guys, if you do the math right, a car with 104,000 case on the clock I mean, the condition doesn't justify the mileage. Um, yeah, then they have BMW 3 Series, 3 Series and a Fiesta. Okay, let's go to this side. There. So here they have a Chevrolet Lumina is his, but this is the bucky and this bucky is currently going for 280,000 Rand um, Yeah, that's the mile is 137,000 kilometers Okay And guys what I do like about this deal is that all the cheaper vehicles are um, parked inside Mr. Sierra Maps, I see you, bro. 
So, so guys, there they have the Audi S5 and the R8. And they have a few bikes here as well. Renault Megane RS. And guys, here they have a Toyota Taz. Appreciate you, bro. That's the cost price, the kilometers. And yeah, guys, the paint is damaged over the years. So this is the Toyota Taz and next to the Toyota Taz they have a VW Golf. So as you guys can see it has the aftermarket wheels from the Velocity. Um, there's the cost price. Unknown kilometers so I think the, um, the mileage thingy doesn't work. And according to the Decoder report guys this car has CV joints issue um, and a lot of engine smoke as well. They have a Toyota Camry. Yeah, just look how the paint look, guys. Damn. So the Camry is currently going for 25,000 bucks. And 547,000 rand guys, um, kilometers flipping over half a million kilometers on this car. And I won't even be surprised if this car doesn't have any mechanical issues. So, yeah, they have the Mazda 323. Okay. So, guys, like I said, um, this is where they take all the pictures that you see on the website. So yeah, they have a Isuzu, another Combi and a Ford Everest. And guys, this is a car that is going to be in one of my videos. Um, this VW Golf. So this car has an uh, automatic gearbox and I, I can't open the vehicle guys, I'm just going to try to open the vehicle. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, it has an automatic gearbox, it's not a DSG, um, but the interior looks terrible guys. Okay, so that's the Golf. So here they have the regular VW 7.5 and this car is sold already guys and it has a platinum decor sticker. So here they have a, a uh, Daihatsu. Guys we are almost 50 minutes into the live. Oh, this car looks super basic inside. Away, away, away. We are live, bro. Yeah. Guys, they have a Golf 6 right here. A GTI. And it looks to me like this damn car was in an accident. This guys can see the whole front bumper. Um, it doesn't align as it should. And this is the cost price, 111,000 Rand, 141,000 case on the clock. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to head upstairs to show you guys the cars that they have on auction. Oops. Yeah, 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 straight pipe, straight pipe. See ya. 
guys they also have a um bmw 5 series as well okay uh before i go upstairs guys all the car the cars that you guys see right here are sold already um but yeah i'm not gonna go outside guys it's a bit too hot Okay, 51 minutes into the live. So here you guys can see um, from a bird's eye view, all the cars that they have. Um, the Toyota Yaris, the white one is on that side. I will show you guys that Toyota Yaris as well. okay so guys all the cars right here is on auction okay um so here's a few interesting stuff right here um at some point guys i was interested in buying a Kia Rio, but that was like two years back um so and this car has a few 17 inch stock standard wheels so that's a cost price um and that's a kilometers category a you can't uh, finance this vehicle and then they have the boss himself the mk1 so the dealership is in brackenfell i'm um, in cape town So here you guys can see the cost price 47,000 Rand, 214,000 Ks in the clock. Yeah, this golf looks nice. And I don't see any scratches or dents on this golf here. So this is how I look from the rear. And the previous owner guys took his sound quite seriously because you have Sony speakers at the back. Um, let's try to, to open it so obviously with this car you're gonna have manual windows and i, I think this car is power steering guys let me know in the chat box below you have a five speed manual gearbox uh okay So that is the Golfi. Just next to the Golfi, they have a Polo, Mitsubishi Colt, and then they have, yeah, the door handles work. Um, the Mazda CX-3. I just want to try and see if I can see it from here. <laughs> I can't believe, guys, I can't see the Mazda CX-3. Uh, so you see this uh, somewhere in, in that aisle or in this aisle? The Mazda CX-3 uh, is on the left side, on that side. Uh, MK1 or the MK3. Uh, what's up guys? Is that one right there? Can't remember. <laughs> um, okay, guys, let's just move on. Guys, like I said, there's too many cars on the floor. I can't remember all the damn cost prices and kilometers and all that stuff. Okay, so here they have a Land Cruiser and another cheap car, Tata Indica. the cost price kilometers this car was made in india guys tata the white mazda 2 see this one here um this car looks clean guys and guys believe it or not right a lot of dealers come to we buy cars and purchase vehicles um 
to sell it at a higher price. Um, I don't know if you can see the cost price, 256,000 Rand, 17,000 kilometers on the clock. And um, category A vehicle, you can purchase this um, vehicle via bank finance. And it has a golden decorous sticker, so that means that this car will pass a roadworthy test. Yeah, it looks freak new. Um, okay, so. They have a Chevy Spark as well. And guys, they have an interesting MK1, right? So it's this one right here. This car looks, this car looks clean, guys. I think this is 1989 model. And this car was definitely resprayed and had a full facelift. So this is the MK1. Uh, let me just show you guys the cost price. So this is the cost price, um, 21,000 Rand. Um, that's the kilometers. Oh, another Polo TDI. Um, as you guys can see, the car has a lot of rust. And surprise, surprise, the front door handle doesn't work. I think only this door works. So this is the color from the rear. Um, so yeah, guys. Okay. Okay, so here they have Audi uh, A5. Mini and MG convertible, guys. Um, the MG basically stands for Morris Garage. Uh, that name was chosen by the founder of MG out of respect of um, for his boss, um, William Morris. Okay, guys, yeah, they have a nice polo here as well. One point four liter comfort line, seventy four thousand rand. Um, so, guys, according to my my knowledge, the cost price on this vehicle with that kilometers is a good buy if this car has no mechanical issues. Okay, let's move on. They have a Yaris sedan. Um, don't know what happened there. So that's the cost price. Kilometers over 300,000 kilometers on the clock. Um, just, so here yeah, they have a Ford car. Ford KA. Toyota Corolla, guys, like I said, they have too many cars. I don't even know where to look. They have another MK1, i20. Okay. Yeah, the the bronze will be closing in the next one hour, guys. Toyota Taz, I know a lot of you guys like these type of cars. Toyota Taz, forty nine thousand rand. Over 200 k's on the clock. And then they have a few cars at the back as well. Guys, I don't know now why Subaru um, ended the production on the WRX STI. They make boring cars these days, to be honest. They have another EcoSport at the back. Save utility. Um, so guys, these are basically all the cars that they have on auction. Ok, 
currently. So here you guys can see all the cars from the upper floor. I'm still looking for the CX-3. Yo, I can't even believe I can't see the damn car. Okay. And guys, um, this is how the auction works. So you will basically go onto the website and you have to fill in all the information um your personal information obviously um and you have to pay a five thousand rand um to the dealer which is basically refundable to be able to you know comp compete in the whole auction thingy okay so these are the cars guys So we are just over one hour into the live. And yeah guys, these are basically all the cars that they have. Um, I'm still looking for the Mazda CX-3 guys, to be honest. Okay. And I'm, I'm currently on the Wi-Fi, guys, so I don't know how good the quality is on the video. Sure. Old school BMW right here. 7 Series. Yo. 29,000 Rand for a BMW 7 Series, guys. We try to open it. So the car is locked at the moment. Jeez. Okay, that's the 7 Series. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for all the cars on um, the floor. Um, the guy that is looking for the CX-3 are you still on the live? Uh, gents, I will be ending the live soon. Okay, the two uncles. Looking at the Maserati. Um, yeah, guys, I will be ending the live soon because um, we are just over an hour into the live. And um, another important thing that I do want to mention is that if you have a low credit score, right? Webacars do have an option where you can rent to buy a vehicle. So um, they have that option for people with low credit scores. So you can rent the vehicle from them to eventually own the vehicle. So yeah. I see the guy that is looking for the CX-3 is not on the live anymore. They have an EcoSport right here. So yeah guys, that's basically it for today's live. I'm just turn the camera. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's live. It's my first live and there's a lot of improvement that I still need to do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's live video. And again guys, I have to give my gratitude to all you guys for supporting the channel because we are over 20,000 subscribers. And it wouldn't be possible without you guys supporting the channel. So yeah guys. I'll see you guys on the next video and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's live video. So I'll see you guys on the next video and have a blessed Sunday. Cheers.